indeed an honor for me to be here at the RSPN National Conference on Community Driven Development. A dialogue among different stakeholders including policy makers, donors, program practitioners and researchers on the approaches, experience and challenges faced to mainstream community driven development to today's Pakistan is very relevant to a national discourse on development. At the United Nations Sustainable Development Summit, world leaders adopted the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, which includes a set of 17 sustainable development goals and include the commitment to end poverty in the world by 2030. The Government of Pakistan's vision 2025 also envisages poverty alleviation and human development as a crucial driver of economic development and growth in the country. We are aiming to tap our innate strength and untapped potential and use of resources to enable Pakistan to emerge as a developed nation and an economic power. Ladies and gentlemen, Pakistan's biggest resource are its people. With their empowerment and investment in the skills, skills we can truly rise as a developed nation. In this context, social mobilizations as a means for empowerment and human development is an approach that can completely change the development paradigm. The Rural Sport Programs Network, as the largest network of Pakistan, as the largest development network of Pakistan, with an outreach of 38 million rural Pakistanis through its 12 RSPs, is in a unique position to lead the dialogue on community <coughs> development. It has vast experience and a reliable database about the reasons for poverty, poverty and the impact of community-driven interventions for poverty alleviation. I would like to acknowledge the work that RSPN is doing in partnership with development partners like EU, USAID and the KFW for community-driven development. I assure RSPN that the economic affairs domain of the government of Pakistan would continue to facilitate initiatives of community, community development projects in different areas of Pakistan. I'd also like to express my gratitude to the European Union on behalf of the government of Pakistan for its support for the community development devel driven development projects in Pakistan. The KPK district governance, governance and community development program, the peace program, and the Synth Union Council Community Economic Strengthening Support, aptly abbreviated by Mr. Shoaib Sultan Saab as success, are all significant interventions for poverty alleviation through empowerment of the people, integrating the potential of civil society and community self-help with reform and strengthening of the local government system. One of my experiences, and I think it's not a unique experience, has been written about this also, and we've discussed this also, of development is the, one of the major challenges of development in Pakistan, and particularly at the, at the community level, is the lack of ownership of the development initiatives vis-a-vis -vis the intended beneficiaries. We in the government think of ourselves as the, as the wise people who then have to conceive of plans which are going to help and facilitate and improve the life of the common citizens. We do not step back and ask us this question as whether these are the felt needs of that community or not. And I think this is where the community driven development approach is critically important. Because these schemes are the the felt needs of the community itself, the, the process, the, the initiative, the first the identification, then the, then the process and its, and its implementation is, is all by the community and at the community level. And I think this is the critical reason for its success because there is complete ownership of that project. Then. Because the, it's, why is there ownership? Because those who are implementing it are, are, are its direct beneficiaries, are its biggest stakeholders. And that I think is the, is the major difference between a community driven approach and that which is being imposed, even if it, at, it, if it is at a TASI level or even if it is at a union council level, which still does not permeate down to the community level. And that is where I think this community driven approach is, is, is critically important and that's why this conference for me, is, uh, as, 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 a, as a government functionary and as a citizen of Pakistan, 
is important in drawing conclusions where we can then extend and deepen this approach. In the end, I would re reiterate my appreciation of the initiative to hold a conference on community-driven development. I wish the conference great success in charting a new course for development in Pakistan. Thank you very much.